Battlestate Games made some changes regarding the accessibility of some types of ammunition. This could result in a different meta in Escape from Tarkov patch 13. That's the topic of today's video. Let's go guys. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here. And with the start of patch 13, with this current wipe in Escape from Tarkov, we already received some changes regarding ammunition. But with today's update or with today's changes, this could be a bigger topic. This could result in a different, kind of different meta or this could switch the timeline how long we have a early, mid and late game experience in Escape from Tarkov. So first of all, it seems they removed 7.62 by 39 BP from traders. Currently, it still says on the flea market it's locked behind a quest. Some people are replying it's completely gone from prepper level 4, so only you have to find it or craft it. M M80 and M62 is Peacekeeper level 4. So to be able to buy M62 and M80, you have to have level 37. And I think M80 should keep Peacekeeper level 3. Because right now, a lot of very decent mid and early wipe weapons are completely irrelevant. For example, bolt action rifles, M700, DVL, you have to have good ammo, like M80, M6, at least M80 or M67. And then weapons which are really handy mid-wipe, SR25, you can get a really good build out of it for mid-wipe. It's now gone because you have to be level 37. Then let's continue, RSRSS, RFB, MDR, Weapon Hunter and all that stuff. It's right now not as good anymore. But on the other side, if you take for example the new SR2M, you have 35 penetration. You can get it from prepper level 3. On top of that, we have the 545 by 39 PP, which has 36 pen. You get that from prepper level 2. And that's not the end. On top of that, it seems AP20 slugs are also removed from, from traders, from Jaeger. Some people replied they have setup done. On the flea, you can see it's still quest locked. So the question is, has it a different quest lock? Is it further behind in the wipe or is it completely uh, removed from trader? Also, some people replied 300 blackout is removed from Peacekeeper. In the tooltip, it says Peacekeeper level 4. But even Peacekeeper level 4 for that weapon, the MCX, I like that gun. I don't get it why it's so bad or not as good as should be in Tarkov. And it's not just the ammunition. We also have the Voodoo and the Razor removed from trader. For the Voodoo, it's the same thing. It says it's still quest locked, but Razor is also gone. Then we have the Impact Nades, which I think is a good thing. They removed the barter for Impact Nades, so you have to find them. Which I, like I said, they are right now more have a better value in if you find some. And I think that's that's a good topic. Overall, it seems they kind of nerfed Western uh, or modern Western weapons. But don't forget this BP change. If it's right that you can't buy it anymore from Prepper, I think the BP change is good. It's yeah, kind of boring if you see the same 762 by 39 BP meta. But PS, it's still, it's still strong. You can get it from level 2 now. Um, but overall, some interesting changes, but the M80 should stay at Peacekeeper level 3. So let me know, guys, what do you think about this change in meta and ammunition? Do you like it? What is your current opinion about this state of patch 13 and escape from Tarkov? And as always, if you want to enhance your experience in FPS games or in especially escape from Tarkov, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You will always get some handy information. That's about it for today. Have a good one. Bye.